Manifest on Purpose. My name is Kimberly Williams. I am a mindset consultant specializing in manifestation. I help you align your mindset with the things that you desire in your life to help you manifest in your life. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's manifest on purpose. You know what they say, the pen is mightier than the sword. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Welcome to the Manifest on Purpose Mindset Show, conversation number 92. I am your host, Kimberly. I am a mental alchemist. I help you transform your mind so that you can become the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting your friends and family, and thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. A couple of the most powerful tools in your toolbox are the paper and the pen. I discovered this early in life. There was something about putting pen to paper that allowed me to see life a little more clearly. I started keeping a diary. You know, the little ones they made for children with the fake lock and key on the front. You know, the one that your siblings and parents could still break into anyway. Well, it was frustrating trying to keep that diary private. It felt good getting my mind to paper. As I grew and was no longer concerned about having to keep those thoughts private, I graduated to a journal. I started with a little cute journal. There's nothing wrong with those journals, but I needed something with more space. So I moved on up to the notebook. What about you? Do you actively journal? If not, You should really try it. It may change your life. There are many benefits in journaling. Today, I'm going to tell you how journaling benefits me. The first way journaling benefits me is it makes my thoughts tangible. Have you ever had a great idea to only forget it days later? Journaling offers the perfect solution. Whenever I have those moments of inspiration, I write them down in my journal. Not only do I write in my journal, I periodically go back to read what I have previously written. So during those times, I need to recall those thoughts and ideas. I go back in my journal to access them. The journal also serves as confirmation to my desires. Let me explain. Every life-changing event requires written confirmation. For example, a big purchase, a new job, a new baby, a marriage, a divorce, and even death are just a few life-changing events that requires your written confirmation. Why is it that all of these things require confirmation? Your signature gives your consent and your stamp of approval. The subconscious recognizes the symbol, your signature, which consists of letters which breaks down to a numerical vibration. The subconscious also recognizes the energetic frequency you express at the time of that signature. The same is so whenever you're writing. This is a way that you can write your dreams into existence. The Bible talks about the power of two or more gathered in alignment. In the case of your journal, the thoughts in your mind are duplicated when added to the paper using powerful symbols recognized subconsciously. The thoughts are then in alignment with manifesting in your physical reality. This is what makes techniques such as writing your story or the 55 by 5 methods successful. Word of caution here though, only write what you want to become a reality. Here's my trick for doing so. I don't journal how things seem to be happening in my reality. 
I write them out as I want them to appear. Try this journaling technique and let me know how it works for you. Perhaps one of my favorite benefits of journaling is its way of probing the subconscious mind. If you have questions, your subconscious mind has answers. Probing your subconscious is a great way to find answers for anything you're seeking. The best way to get them is through probing the subconscious mind. I usually ask the question in my mind first. However, if I want to send a stronger message, I write the question in my journal just before dropping off to sleep. This is the best time to utilize subconscious techniques like asking questions. Sometimes you may get answers in a dream or you may get answers in a synchronistic manner during your waking hours. Speaking of dreams, a dream journal can also be beneficial. Our dreams symbolically tell us a story about ourselves. Documenting your dreams in a journal is a great way to decode the symbology in your dreams. Journaling also can prove beneficial in measuring progress. There's no better motivation than progress. Use a journal to count your blessings. Journaling also helps me connect to my higher self. You too can use your journal to tap into your innermost nature, better known as the God within or the universal mind. Write to your higher self, your deeper thoughts and desires. Some people know this as automatic writing. Automatic writing is just asking questions and waiting for an automatic response through the pen and paper. The last benefit I will share today is definitely not the least. You can also use your journal as a release mechanism and a tool to help you forgive. What's foolish is drinking poison and expecting the other person to experience the results. Your anger toward another, no matter whether you perceive them to be right or wrong, only hurts you. Write down what you want to release or who you want to forgive, tear it up, trash it, or even burn it with the intentions of letting go. Are you now convinced to begin journaling? Besides all of the benefits I named, there are others such as it grounds you in the present, it clears your mind, adds to your overall well-being and happiness, just to name a few. Don't you know the pen is mightier than the sword? Writing is a very powerful subconscious tool. Journaling is a practice of getting your thoughts from your mind to paper. If you are going to journal, think about its many benefits. Choose how you would like to use it and journal with a purpose. Whatever you decide, remember, be careful what you write. You just might get it. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Let's prepare for meditation. If you like, you can use this meditation session as a journaling session. You don't have to have one of those QC notebooks. You can use a regular notebook to journal in. If you are driving, this is not the time to do so. Please download this and save it for later. If you are not driving, please find your sacred space. The space that is comfortable for you, distraction free and safe. The space in which you can relax in and focus on your breathing. Enjoy your meditation.